Hey everyone, it's uh, Murray Fife here. I thought I'd share something that's been coming up recently that some people have asked me about, and that's how do you go out and get a uh, virtual machine for Dynamics 365 without having to pay exorbitant costs for Azure hosting or get a sandbox, or even if you're independent, how do you get it when you're not a partner? And the good news is that you can actually download the uh, local VHD version of Dynamics 365 directly from LCS, from Lifecycle Services. And also you don't need to have a partner account, you can just use really any uh, office domain name that you may have or email that you may have in order to access that. So what I'm going to do just quickly in this uh, overview is show you how we can access this and download it. Maybe I'll have a follow-up session later on where I go out and show you how to configure it. But there's a lot of uh, blogs out there that actually show you how to do that already. So what we're going to do is I've got my environment here and I'm just going to go to lcs.dynamics.com. So that's going to take me into Lifecycle Services. And then I'm just going to sign in. So I'm logged in here as um, as my AD&D D365 account, and this doesn't have a partner account or anything associated with it. So it's a good example of how we can do this. Now, normally when you go into Lifecycle Services, then you go out and create a project, and then the project allows you to deploy out cloud-hosted environments or create sandboxes if you're licensed. But if you're not licensed or if you don't have those, then the projects aren't really a good option for you. But what you can do is you can go to the shared asset area. So within Lifecycle Services, there's a lot of uh, useful tools here within the shared asset library. But the one that I'm interested in is this downloadable VHD. So what we're going to see is that there's a number of files here. All of the virtual machines are uh, that have been released out, or the major ones, are available here. So I can go in and I can see that the latest version right now, as of uh, the end of July in 2024, is the uh, 10039 release. Usually they they come out every six months or so, or at least that's the cadence that I've seen. So if you wanted to download all of the files that are required, then all you need to do is download these uh, four files. And these are going to be compressed zip files that you can extract out. And then it's going to have a VHD file on it that then you can go out and uh, convert into a, a local machine that you can run. <clears throat> and if you, as long as you allocate out around about 24 gig of memory to it, uh, or more if possible, I allocate 32 on my environment, then these work really well and they're fully functional. They've got all the capabilities, all the uh, finance and operations capabilities of the cloud hosted environments. The only limitation is that it doesn't have access to things like uh, the Dataverse connector, Power BI, and some of the other things. But for learning how the ERP works, then these are great. Now also, if you look at the model, then one of the things that, uh, that I've been doing or promoting is going out and uh, configuring Dynamics from scratch, from a blank environment. And one of the things is that when you get these VHDs, then the VHDs have the demo database in it. So that's good for demos. It's got USMF, USRT, uh, the uh, GB uh, companies and so forth. But I want to go out and create an empty database. So the good thing is that if you look here in the model area, then there's actually a downloadable backup file, a SQL backup for the empty database. So you can download that. And then when you get your environment up and running, you can actually overwrite the SQL database, and uh, then you've got this clean environment. So this is this is really useful, it's free, so you don't have to pay for anything. Uh, and even though the environment has got a expiration of six months, you can actually rearm it up to, I think, six times maybe. And uh, that means that you can probably use an environment for around about, around about three years if you if you keep it up and down and just keep running it on the system. And also, you can go out and you can update the database and then do a, a model upgrade, and then that's going to give you the latest version of the environment too. So there's a lot of capabilities that you have here. But 
this is what I really wanted to show, which was how you download uh, these files and how you download the, uh, the um, Hyper-V VHD file or the virtual hard drive file so that then you can go and deploy that out and have your own environment running locally. So I hope this was useful. If anyone has any questions, then uh, tag me on LinkedIn or email me. I think my email is just below. It's murray at fiveconsultingservices.com. And I, uh, I always love just talking to people about all things Dynamics and finance and operations and also how to learn Dynamics as well. So uh, with that said, I'll sign off and everyone have a great day.